Hi, welcome back. You've got ambient lighting outside, so you might not be able to see me quite as well, but I did want to show you. This is the area of the 2019 Kia Optimum that we're going to be concentrating on. So if you look to the left of the steering wheel here, right up on the panel, and I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see this. Right up on the panel, you've actually got two lines, such as the lines in the road, and you've got an image of a car. We're going to press that to engage your lane keeping, which is pretty nice because the lane keeping on this is very aggressive lane keeping. Now, not in the tune of you changing lanes, but in the tune of keeping you in your lane, it's very nice because it particularly wants to operate without you drifting within your lane. It almost, is feel, it almost feels as if it's operating and driving for you. So as you're hopping into your vehicle, you're probably wondering, where do you find your lane keeping assist? Your lane keeping assist is gonna to be to the left of your wheel, as I mentioned before. This is gonna be the area you're gonna be concentrating on right here. So if you take it and press once, that turns on or engages your lane keeping assist. Now, if you're wondering about that, we're gonna take a seat within the Kia Optimum here. Once we're inside, you press this one button, and if you look right up top here, which is here, that's your lane keeping assist. There again, as I mentioned, the normal vehicle will allow you to drift in your lane. When you drift closer to the edge of a line, the vehicle will look to correct you, so it will just brush you back into your lane. But with lane keeping assist from Kia, it's very nice because it almost feels there again as if it's driving for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how the lane keeping assist work. Just remember, this icon has to be shown on your dash and this is how you engage it with a simple press of a button. So we're gonna jump behind the wheel, we're gonna take off and I'm gonna show you how to operate that on your Kia Optimum. My lane keeping aid, which has been activated or engaged and just to show you how this is going to react, which I absolutely love it. You can see the yellow line, you can see the white line. Hands are off the wheel, just to show you there. And it's roughly keeping me in my lane. Now it's going to allow me to swerve out a little bit because my line's left. But I'm going to show or zoom out a bit just to show you a little bit more because a lot of times I can show you this stuff but you won't think that I'm using you won't think that I've completely released the wheel. So I'm gonna zoom out. Hopefully that gives you a glimpse of the outside. Now my lane keeping there again has been activated. You can see the green wheel, steering wheel right up top there. You can also see the picture of the icon of the car between the lines. That is my lane keeping aid from Kia. So I'm gonna zoom out once again. I he completely released the steering wheel and so you can see, no hands. So the vehicle's actually more or less driving itself. Now they don't look at it as being that. Now, they approach the lane that time. So it's saying, keep my hands. I'm just gonna put my hands on the top so it can see that I'm engaged. Now I'm gonna disengage by releasing the wheel and I'm gonna take you back out so you can see the open road itself. Coming up on a little bit of a curve so you can see the wheel slightly move. Now notice that it turned the wheel back to the right even before I got anywhere near the line. So I'm gonna grasp once again. And you can see if I release the wheel too long, you can see the message that actually shows up behind the wheel there. So I'm gonna release and you can see the lane keeping aid back in action. It's looking roughly to keep you down the center of your lane. Now there's a car coming to the right. I'm not gonna to touch the wheel. And it's just telling me to keep my hands on the wheel. But even if I don't, it's fully engaged, so driver's grasp, not detected. It will de disable temporarily. So it's gonna disable the lane keeping as you saw there, if you don't grasp or touch the wheel. So I'm gonna release one more time. We're kind of coming up on a curve. Just to show you how aggressive this is, as far as the lane keeping aid from Kia. So the curve we're coming up on, not exactly a soft curve, it's a curve. Of course, you can see it right in front of me there. You can see the wheel. My hands are currently on the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and release. You can see the curve. And you're gonna to have to take my word for it. My hands are off the wheel. Gonna bring you back over so you can see a little bit of the wheel. So you can see the wheel, you can see the curve, and it's taking me around the curve hands-free. And that's just lane keeping. Now there's no autonomous driving, semi-autonomous driving whatsoever. The vehicle is doing it on its own. So I'm gonna zoom back in 
and keep your eye on the wheel and on the road. So we're gonna go ahead and get in front of this dump truck or whatever it is there. And we're gonna enter the center lane. And I'm gonna release the wheel. There's cars along, all along in front of me. You can see the wheel more or less jolt back and forth here. But I'm down the center of my lane. That is so unusual. You have vehicles out there that actually deem themselves to be the safest there is. But with lane keeping aid, you're bouncing within your lane unless you go to what is known as a semi-autonomous pilot or whatever where it fully takes control of the wheel. Softer curve, hands on the wheels. I'm gonna relieve, release the steering wheel. We're into a curve. Now the vehicle's hugging the curve. It's just keeping me within the lines here on a curve, which is very aggressive. Now the indicator is simply telling me that I'm bouncing off the lines. There's a car right next to me. You can see all of this and it keeps me in my lane. Back on the straight and narrow, I'm driving forward again. So I'm gonna go ahead and grasp the wheel because it's telling me to before it disengages. Soft curb there again. Don't wanna scare the guy beside me. Gonna go ahead and release. We have another curve coming up. Just trying to get you in the right position here. So here's the curve. Vehicle keeps me in the lane. And that's around a curb, folks, is what I'm telling you. Now, it's going to let me out because I didn't grasp a wheel. Of course, if you continue to beat up against that line three or more times, it's automatically going to allow you to go out because the vehicle thinks that you're attempting to leave anyway. It's not going to do anything if I change lanes. Of course, if I turn on the turn signal, I don't get any feedback from it, as you can see. And the only thing that happens when you do bounce up against your lane the green icon there right behind the dash, you can see the little image of the car between the lines. That just blinks and then you will get a beep as well. So you're gonna get a visual and an audible to let you know that you're drifting within your lane. But the vehicle does a great job of keeping you in your lane if you do have to take a text message, if you do have to do anything such as that, the vehicle you can feel safe with the Kia Optimum and knowing that you'll be within your lane even on a curb. Of course, you don't want to do it on too much of an aggressive curb, but definitely works perfectly. Take time to enjoy your Kia and fully understand your vehicle, which is the main reason why you should click subscribe if you haven't done so yet.